Scorpio, welcome back to Shay C. Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I'm a fellow Scorpion. I can't wait to dig into our energy. So let's see what's happening. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is for anyone with a Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm using the Tarot dice for those of you that are brand new. Don't forget to hit that like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support our fellow Scorpions. And cross watchers, you're welcome here. We couldn't do it without you. All right, let's see what's happening. Oh, wow, Scorpio. Scorpio, what the heck? What's happening in our lives here? Okay, so first of all, what I'm seeing here is that you need to be patient. And I know you don't like to hear that. I don't like to hear that. Um, I'm the last one in this world that's patient. But boy, I'm telling you, I've had to learn patience the last, uh, well, quite a few years. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like if you've been in limbo and you've been waiting for success in a connection, a relationship, or a family situation, I feel like there's going to be a lot happening that's going to come to the surface here that you're not expecting. Uh, I do feel like you've been stuck for quite some time. Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords here. I know they're very hard for you to see. But Spirit wants you to be patient. It, it's, it's taking time to kind of stand your ground or uh, say your piece kind of thing. I do feel like, you know, it's been a very stressful time. I feel like some of you, you know, have maybe gone through bouts of anxiety or depression or frustration, but many of you are going through these challenges because you're going through an actual transformation. Some of you may be a single mom. Um, that's not going to be for all of you, uh, but Spirit is saying, you know, you are seen in a very high light. You are embodying all of the queens here coming up as the empress. I feel like you're doing very, very well. Continue to stand up for yourself. Yes, it will be stressful because sometimes you feel like you're all alone in the world, but you're not. Um, you're not. Your angels are always guiding you and your angels want you to be patient and realize, you know, if you're waiting for a love connection to come together, it does take time to pour one cup into the other. Uh, there are quite a few people involved here in this dynamic, whether it's your family or their family. Um, whatever it is you're needing to stand up for. For some of you, you know, this could even be financially speaking. You know, you have some challenges at work that you have to overcome. And you're going to have to fight for a certain position or stand your ground because you're already in a certain position here. Whatever is happening, okay, Spirit is saying action is going to be taken here in the future. You're going to understand and see things a lot more clear. Either an announcement's going to be made or you're going to be recognized for um, really overcoming a lot of obstacles in your current job, your career, or this is a relationship, okay? So don't overthink things here, okay? I feel like... Certain sacrifices have to be made to either come into this position or um, get into this relationship. But what I love here is that we have the sun, okay? So the sun is about happiness, illumination, growth, success, harmony, uh, anything that was in the dark coming to light. So the tower is sent to us in order to clear the path and make way for that new path. Um, so... We have our energy here, Scorpio, death and the tower. So you could be helping somebody go through a major transformation or you are going through a transformation or this connection or this job or career opportunity is going through some kind of change. But either way, you know, I am getting the sense that in some ways somebody's feeling a bit guilty for going through these changes, for having success. Don't feel guilty for being successful, you know, if, if it could be jealous people around you or the person you're dealing with, never feel guilty for being successful and going towards what is meant for you. Because trust you me, when you have major arcana of temperance here, the tower, the sun, <laughs> the, you know, we have the hangman. I'm not done yet. We also have death and we also have the Empress. That is major. That's major life altering changes that you are meant to go towards. You're meant to go towards. And the tower only comes in if we're allowing ourselves to be stuck. Case in point, the Ace of Swords. Somebody's allowed themselves to remain stuck. And I think that somebody's realizing the only way they're ever going to become unstuck is if they start standing up and fighting for what they believe in. 
okay? It's not going to be easy, and sometimes you can feel very alone doing it, but that's the only way you're going to move towards your growth and success. So if that means your job, your career, your family, um, your own mother sometimes here with the Empress, it could be, doesn't have to be. I've got Libra, Taurus, of course, Scorpio here twice. I've got Leo again. I've got Pisces. Uh-huh. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius again. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So it's all about the energy, but let's see what's going on. I'm going to pull this other deck. Don't ask me the name of it because I don't remember. It's new, <laughs> but I just fell in love with it, so I got it. Anyways, let's see what's going on, Scorpio. And stay till the end because I'm also going to pull messages from your person, confessions from your soulmate, what they would like to say to you. We are going to dig. Thank you to Jen and Goodman if you're here for moderating the channel. I always appreciate you. Oh, and a quick little announcement. I am gone from the 12th to the 14th. No personal readings. I wrote that on the community community page. Make sure you always check that, okay, for messages in case I do forget to announce it on one of the readings. So from the 12th to 14th, no personal readings and no general readings, okay? All right, so right off the bat, we have the Two of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Somebody is like feeling guilty for not knowing what direction they want to go, point blank, period. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go left. I don't know whether to go right. So I'm just going to sit here and dwell on everything. Somebody's dwelling. We've got the nine of swords twice we've also got it in the tarot dice so somebody is like sitting in misery not sure what to do wow why the two of swords please for scorpio why those two of swords for scorpio oh okay so interesting because we have the king of wands and we have the king of swords so air fuels the fire so this king okay i feel like it's the same person is getting really fired up and feeling guilty because what they want to do is they know they have to cut out something okay they're realizing that they have to sacrifice something okay and so up until this point, that's not going to be for all of you. So remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some of you, it's going to resonate now. Some of you, it may not resonate right away. It could take months, but that's how tarot works and is general reading. So it's not going to you know, resonate for everybody. Oh, personal readings are not open right now for the rest of the week because of me being away the 12th to 14th. I can't fit them in. Okay, just so that you know, until I return. So like the 15th onwards, I will start accepting um, personal readings again. I should have said that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So the King of Swords, the, the King of Wands, air fuels a fire. So this is somebody thinking logically on how to take action. How can I, like, instead of like staying up all night, half the night, I'm realizing that I actually need to make head over heart decisions here and make a sacrifice before I can move forward. Because that's the way, that's the only way that balance will be restored. Because if I don't make this decision, the universe is going to make me make it for me. And I may not like what happens if I let things go too, too far, too, too hard. Because the tower is here. Okay, so you can either choose to make the necessary changes to go towards what is meant for you, or you can let the universe handle it, have a fight that that breaks down everything, a final fight, a final argument, or, or losing a job, or losing somebody, or, you know, you can let that happen instead, but you may not like the, the you know, what happens. You may not like the outcome of that when you could have decided. This is somebody who's left things for far too long, has been dreading making this choice, and has been putting it off, has been, been blocking and ignoring and turning a blind eye to making a necessary decision. So this could be somebody headed towards possibly becoming single if they're already in a marriage or commitment. Could be seeking a divorce attorney. That's not going to be for all of you. But they're not sure if justice is going to go in their favor. That could be something that they're really really stressing over here with the nine of swords you know what if this doesn't go in my favor what's going on for scorpio why is justice here hmm. scorpio somebody may want to wow they're just dropping out like flies here somebody may want to reach out and say they're sorry or send you a message of love to kind of make things fair uh, they may feel like you have blocked them and they're stressed out about it. They're worried about it. They're not happy about it because, oh my gosh, again. So double clarification of the hangman as well. There's a lot of double doubles here already saying that, you know, things have been in limbo here. 
because we've been turning a blind eye and blocking, making a choice, making a decision. Twos are all about choices and decisions, okay? They're dropping out. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, I'm blown away. We also have the tower here twice now. Something major is happening or will be happening here in the near future. I'm telling you what, seven of cups, yeah. So this, this is somebody who's realizing, you know, I'm going to stay stuck and blocked forever if I don't make up my mind. Knight of Cups. To come in, to sweep you off your feet, to make decisions and choices with you, Scorpio. This may be somebody that wants to um, speak their truth and take action towards you about saying, you know, I'm really sorry. I've been in limbo. You know, I wasn't sure what to do. I feel guilty. I feel torn. I have all these decisions and choices to make. You know, they may want you to make these decisions and choices with them, Scorpio, with the Seven of Cups here. They could be kind of not sure what you want. If you want the same things. They're coming in. Eight of Wands. They want to communicate or travel towards you. They want to balance things out with you here. They can't stop thinking about it here. Now, if your person is dealing with other people here at the Seven of Wands or you, Scorpio, again, it depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. This is, you know, I need to be patient because I'm dealing with all these other personalities in my life that are, you know, fighting with me on every decision and every choice I try to make. So this can represent that either this is happening between the two of you or your person's dealing with others that they're having to fight off and argue with. It's very stressful. They may be saying, oh, you're going to sacrifice this person or that person, or you're going to, you know, sacrifice your job, or you're going to sacrifice this, or you're going to sacrifice that. Like, you know, there's something that your person is having to stand their ground for, or you are, and it's keeping them up at night. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to get your person's energy on the other deck. I do like the progress from the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands from the Tarot Dice to the cards here because this is showing progress. So we're standing our ground and we're communicating that we're moving forward. We're, we want to travel. So this could be somebody that wants to travel to you, with you, or you, them. And I need to stand up for this. I, I want to travel. Let's go, Scorpio. Let's. See. <laughs> I'm. I'm trying to check it all out here. So double. Well, let's do a recap. We got double clarification here, of the tower. Double clarification. Of the nine of swords. Double clarification of the hangman. So I'm dreading making, somebody's dreading making this sacrifice because it's going to bring down this tower. It's going to change everything as we know it. Somebody's dreading taking down this tower. So that's the only way somebody's going to move forward though. Mm-hmm. It's a time of clarification of bringing everything out into the open so we can become unstuck. Ships coming in. Okay, so I feel like your person, Scorpio, whoever that is for you, is just like ships are coming in the moment, the moment this tower comes down, things will change. Clarify three of wands, please, for Scorpio's person. Whoever's coming towards Scorpio, what's going on? Hmm. Wow. Justice again, Scorpio. Double clarification. I'm waiting for things to balance out in a new connection. Ace of Cups. This is a blessing from the universe. New love coming in. A start to something. Creating something new, something beautiful with lots of love. I'm waiting to balance this connection out. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpio's person. Oh, 
OMG, Scorpio, I'm not kidding you. Wow. Triple confirmation of the tower. This is no joke. This is happening, okay? Patient Scorpio. Timing is of the essence here. Absolutely. Hangman, again. <sighs> the amount of doubles and now a triple tower. <whistles> Scorpio, expect the unexpected. Patience, new love is coming for you. Okay, your ships are coming in. Things are going to balance out, okay? I feel like somebody's viewing things from your perspective, their perspective. I feel like they've been thinking about this a while. I feel like they've been keeping up at night here. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about it, thinking about you, vice versa here, or the way things are happening. They know this is the only way to move forward uh, because this tower is coming down no matter what because this is meant to happen when that tower comes down. The universe has your back, has their back. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Because they miss you. Okay, they're realizing, whoever this is, Scorpio, that they were too focused on what was, not what could be. So this is definitely somebody realizing that, yeah, things need to change here. They're going to change whether I like it or not because, you know, this is how I feel. This is how they feel. And we're not getting along anymore with my family or my friends or... You know, there's arguments all the time. I'm constantly having to fight for everything I want to say. I feel like somebody has a hard time saying what they want to say. It's like they can't get the words out. It comes out all hot, tempered, and fiery. And so they find the need to constantly calm themselves down or chill themselves out because every time they try to... Um, talk to their family or their friends or whoever this is could you know whoever it is it, it's like they can't get their point across there's no compromise clarify the five of cups what is this disappointment regret mm, that they missed this opportunity with you scorpio this person feels like they were so focused on their past that they couldn't see the forest through the trees and they've missed this opportunity with you because they allowed themselves to remain blocked, stuck in limbo. Nine of swords, three times, Scorpio. It's keeping them up at night now with regret, feeling like they've missed this opportunity. But what are they waiting for? I have the Eight of Wands and the Tower three times. I really feel like this person is really starting to understand what they need to do because there's love here and there's a connection here that they're missing out on or have missed out on with you. I feel like they turned a blind eye to your connection, ignored you, ignored the connection. Because they knew they would have to stand up against others for this connection. OMG, the lovers. This is a choice between two different directions or two different people. Either way, it's a choice. I am like scared in fear of making this choice. So there is a divine connection here. We've got temperance again like... <laughs> numerous times here scorpio the tower three times this is like you know the 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 pennies dropping on somebody they're having regrets and i feel like they're dreading making this choice but at the same time they're missing you and regretting not making this choice because they're missing this opportunity so i feel like with the king of swords and the king of wands are getting really anxious one minute they're blowing hot the next minute they're blowing cold they're thinking they're thinking hard Why is the lovers here? Clarify lovers, please. Yeah, they can't take it anymore, Scorpio. This is on their mind morning, day, night. Clarify the Ten of Wands. This is something they're meant to let go of, okay? They're meant to make this decision, make this choice. Yeah, see, they're realizing, they're becoming clear that this is weighing heavy on uh, on their mind here. That, you know, it's, um, they, they can't function properly. 
They can't function properly. And I feel like it's taken them a long time to realize this. Okay, let's get the mutual energies. Okay, don't go anywhere, Scorpio. Like I was saying, I'm going to pull the confessions from your soulmate near the end of the reading as well. I'm going to pull some tarot charms. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to get advice and guidance. There will be a part two, which I totally... Totally forgot to mention for those of you that are brand new. That'll be near the end of the reading, upper right-hand corner. It will say part two, watch now, where I'm going to dig deeper into uh, your person's energy to see why they're staying stuck, what the progress is going to be for July 2024. Then we're going to dig in with the after tarot for the next six months and get the possible outcome. And I have a new spread that I want to use that I've only used a handful of times. I want to use that on another new deck and see what the messages are. Okay, so you can let me know in part two if you like that spread. All right, let's get the mutual energies between you and this person. And I'm also going to pull a deck here in a minute for new love Scorpio because I definitely am feeling this is new love, but there's family or something that they must they must make a decision and a choice here to fight for this. It's almost like it involves travel or something like that. Or once they communicate this to their family or their friends or their own mother, something like that, that, uh, you know, they give them, they give them grief over it. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. What is going on? See, got to make the decision to take the action between you and them. So this is about the chariot. This is about moving forward. Things are going to stay stuck and in limbo until we make the choice and the decision to become unstuck. Spirit saying that you're only stuck if you choose to be. If you don't make this decision, yeah, you will continue to stay stuck and have nightmares and no sleep until you actually make this decision. It's not going to end good if you allow the universe to make this decision for you because things will erupt and become worse. The tower is here three times. Are you kidding me? That's huge. Incredible. Oh my gosh, they're flying out. Yeah. Okay, so we're all on our head. We're doing a lot of thinking here. Okay, so that's you and them. This has caused you both to maybe go in a period of silence, do a lot of thinking, making decisions here with the Seven of Cups and dreading making those decisions. I feel like it's keeping you and this person up at night, Scorpio, whoever this is for you, okay? Release the past. So some of you may be deciding to release this person. They may have released you. You released them. They're regretting that choice now. Um, could be both of you. Uh, there's there's it's weighing heavy on their mind they can't it's like they can't stop thinking about it or you can't stop thinking about it you know we're having these realizations that there needs to be some kind of sacrifice and some kind of compromise and if somebody was taking advantage of you Scorpio for some of you not all of you they're realizing now they played one too many games because they were enjoying the attention from you and now they're feeling guilty. That's the other message I'm getting. That's just for some of you. They're gaining the clarity here, you know, that they took advantage of you because they were feeling stuck. But if that's the case, I feel like you were sent to this person to allow them to overcome their challenges, to see the errors of their way, to become clear, to go through transformation because they have been stuck for a long time and there is no need to be stuck. It's they're, they're keeping themselves stuck. Yeah, this is somebody that sees a cup as half full or sorry, half empty rather than half full. There's a certain chance here, you know, a risk involved, a sacrifice in order to to go towards what is meant for you here with the Ace of Cups, the Lover's Energy, the Chariot. Mm -hmm. So once this tower comes down in their life or your life, there's no turning back. That's it. Okay, that's it. We deal with the consequences, whatever choices we make, but not making the choice is creating a tower anyway. Three of them, to be exact. So it doesn't matter which way you slice it. This tower is coming down. And we can either make it better and make the choices or we can leave it and make it worse. Okay. Whew, Scorpio, let's get your tarot charm messages. Let's see. What do we got? Okay, there's the sun again. Here comes the sun. So it's almost like, you know, once the tower comes down, 
Guess what's right next to it? The sun. And then we have the sun again. So this is about bringing everything into the open, open and openness. Yeah, openness, being open, going towards your sun, your happiness, your success in order to have an experience grow. Did a card just fall? It did. OMG, Scorpio, look what just fell out. Wish fulfillment. Okay, I am looking into my wish fulfillment. What, what do I need to do in order to fulfill my wishes? I feel like, you know, this is weighing this person down. They're kind of keeping an eye on you or wherever they can, Scorpio, or vice versa. Maybe you both are. OMG, we've got the sun again. Scorpio, so like something massive is going to happen here. There's going to be something revealed, something shown to you or something out into the open here. There could be multiple towers. Shock, shock, shock. Something could shock their family, shock your family, shock the world. I don't know. But there's something. Wow. Scorpio could be dealing with a Leo or somebody, a strong Leo in their chart, or that's who's coming towards you. I know it's hard to see. Oop. Anyway, some of you could be dealing with someone with the name of Jill. Joyce, or I'm talking to a Jill or a Joyce, or you will be in the near future. Yeah. Okay, so... Some of you, there's going to be like some kind of, yeah, there could be some kind of chitter chat or some kind of gossip here I'm getting. A family home. I'm getting something to do with like a fireplace. I'm not quite sure why. So maybe some of you are going to go somewhere, travel. Okay, maybe where it's cooler, you need a fireplace. I'm going to go somewhere in the winter. Look, somebody wants to make memories with you with the camera here, or they're having memories of you. Ah, for some of you, they want to take you on a beach vacation, or you're going on a beach vacation, or you're thinking about it here. Okay, we've got something to do with, like, family legacy, the tree. Maybe adding to the family, a new blessing coming in. For some of you, you know, it's... A birth of a baby. Maybe somebody's recently become pregnant. I've got here for some of you here. And they're they're going to be a single mom. Maybe there's a, a breakup, a shakeup here. And we're becoming a single mom. And we're worried about being financially stable. For some of you here. Okay. All right. I want to see who or what is affecting your connection. Who or what is affecting... Scorpio's connection now. We're in the near future for Scorpio. Again, remember, some things may happen now. Some things may resonate in the future. So take what does, leave what doesn't. And don't forget to check your other placements. You know, I have other placements. You have other placements. If you don't know what they are, go to astrosofa.com because you can get several messages and then come back to Shacey Tarot or whatever reader you want and check your other placements. Yeah, there, this is an inev inevitable changes going to happen. Tower here three times, sun here three times. This is huge. Something major is coming out into the open, and I feel like it's going to cause multiple towers and changes. It's it's going to be, like, huge. So get, get ready, Scorpio. Ooh, some of you, ooh, maybe you come into, like, major financial success. Maybe you win something. Something changes your income here. It can be for the good or it could be for the bad, but I'm feeling it's for the good because we have six of wands and the nine of pentacles. I feel like you're, you know, you're going to be very, very successful, Scorpio, no matter what. You, some of you could be majorly involved in your community somehow. Oh, wow. Okay. So for some of you here, somebody's going through a rough patch. They're going to like really be suffering financially here. For some of you, it can be that they did something on the down low here and, you know, they could be going to prison for it. If they did something underhanded here, that could be what's changing for some of you. But for some of you here, you know, maybe for some of you have justice or legal decisions and somebody did something like illegal here to you, you're going to gain from it financially or your person is. Maybe that's what the tower is. Maybe something shocking happens here because somebody was stealing from another person or it could be even a business here. Something. 
and that gets exposed with the tower here three times, the sun here three times, and somebody, you know, is meant to go to prison because they they were stealing. For some of you, that's the other thing I'm getting. Wow. Wealthy man. So some of you are going to meet somebody very wealthy and this is going to increase your abundance and somebody else is going to have to learn to go through changes because this is somebody who had a negative mindset and refused to refused to see that these changes were coming and so they didn't prepare for it. They never prepared for the future and now they're basically, I hate to say it, going to screw themselves, but they did it to themselves, okay? Could have been codependency on another family member. Could have been a mother that was codependent, like their own mother, your own mother, their own mother, something like that. It's like one person's going to be really su successfully, like, overcoming any challenges financially, either you're going to meet a wealthy, wealthy man or you're a wealthy man I'm talking to, or, you know, you're going to come into some kind of unexpected income somehow, you know, you could win something and that makes you wealthy, but one person's going to be living in poverty and that's what they're fearing. The other person is going to be very successful. And it's because one person was blocking either connection, allowing it to stay stuck, you know, causing some kind of, um, unnecessary drama. Okay, some I've also got here for some of you, like somebody was was playing a lot of games like and it can be with the finances. It can be. That's why somebody's going to go through some very serious legal repercussions for their wrongdoings when it comes to to money or finance or stealing or something like that is kind of what I'm getting. Okay, they did something underhanded. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's get your spirit messages. Then we're going to pull the uh, confessions from your soulmate. Let's see what's going on. What is the advice and guidance for Scorpio from the animal spirit messages? What would you like us Scorpios to know? What would you like us Scorpios to know? Let me know how that resonates in the comment section. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button. We want to support our fellow Scorpions here, don't we? Absolutely. lightness it is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination by doing this you will make them a reality joy is just around the corner but you have to believe that it's possible to manifest your vision stop waiting and doubting so somebody's definitely been waiting and doubting putting things off here but the towers here three times the sun's here three times i have to say it it's unbelievable. I'm blown away. The temperance is here three times. Spirit is saying patience, 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 tower, tower, tower. Everything's coming out into the open and it's going to blow somebody's mind. It's going to blow several people's mind. They are going to be in shock. But guess what? There is love here. Okay. So you, this is something you're not expecting. You have found your soulmate or they're just around the corner. Remember that when two souls are destined to be together, they always find their way back to each other. All those things you've had to go through were worth it. So if there's been a lot of challenges, a lot of disagreements, a lot of people fighting you or fighting this connection or blocking this connection or in, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, not for long, not with three towers, the eight of wands and the chariot temperance three times. Okay, I'm going to stop now. But wow, Scorpio, I don't know what's coming, but something's coming. First message, confessions from your soulmate. What would they like to say? Love. Ooh. I like this one because this has come up a couple times for a Scorpio. So this is very significant for some of you listening here for sure. I want to make love to you, which you have never experienced before. I want intimacy in every way possible with you. I just want us to know each other like no one before us has ever known. Your touch, your voice really healed me. So this person wants to know you inside, outside, all around you, Scorpio, head to toe, pinky toes, baby toes, everywhere in between. They want to know every inch of you and your body, your mind, and your soul. Wow, Scorpios, love that. Yes, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Passion. The heat is rising between us. This is intensity of my desire for you. I want you. I want your body, mind, and soul. My God, Scorpio, I just said that. We will be one. 
It will be unlike anything we've ever experienced before. I have a lot of passion for you. You are such a passionate and magnetic queen. I feel drawn to you. Wow. Okay. So Scorpio, I feel like this person's going to blow your mind. Whoever this is coming toward you is going to blow your mind. Message of love. I'm thinking about you, my love, even though you think I'm not. I miss you every day and night. The nine of swords came up three times, Scorpio. What did I say? This person's been staying up day and night. You may not even know it, okay? I'm curious to know what you've been doing. How did your day go by without me? Sometimes I wonder, do you even think of me? I'm feeling the urge to reach out to you, my love, and I will, I promise. So this person is anxious to reach out to you. Yes, I would definitely say so. The sun three times, the ace of swords, you know, the tower three times, the sun. Again, I keep saying it, temperance. I'm just blown away by this reading, Scorpio. There's going to be a multitude of shocking events, I feel, that are going to happen. So let's start digging into part two, where I'm going to dig so much deeper. And like I said, I'm going to do that new spread that I have that I've only used, like, I think once or twice. I keep forgetting about it, but I want to use it in part two with a new deck. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. I'm so anxious to dig, okay? Let's see what these changes are. Whew, can't wait. All right, for those of you seeing me next time, um, you won't get another reading till I return. For those of you seeing me right now in part two, I will be right there. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. If you want all the part two options, I forgot to say, click the more button, click down below. It will open up and it will give you the part two options. Namaste. Bye for now.